Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me. We all doing cakes and pastries and even that you're just starting or you are just an enthusiast, you have done already tens of cakes in behind uh, for your neighbor, relatives, kids, etc. And some of us, we can say, I have done hundreds of cakes. And there's also people, of course, uh, there's thousands of cakes behind in those so many years. So I like to put myself into that category. Yes, I did so many cakes. And uh, if you ask me now, uh, which cake was your favorite cake? Uh, I would say I haven't done that yet. Uh, because every time that even that you like it or people or receiver or customers, they like it, I always see something that which is not right. I can do it better. So anyway, when we look at the, all those cakes, uh, I can simply reduce to just a few, just a couple that I really love to do it. I really enjoy doing it. And uh, also it's, at the end of the day, result was really, really nice. So one of the cake uh, from these few was the galleon cake, which I did early this year, 2017, for a collaboration in conjunction with the International Cake Show held in Brisbane, organized by the Australian Cake Artists and Decorators Association. So this cake uh, was part of the collaboration and I didn't actually know that uh, it was also a competition. I won the best place inside the collaboration in the show and also made the second place in the world, which is won by the amazing Marta Hidalgo with uh, her uh, bust, uh, Aboriginal bust. And uh, I will have the honor to meet with her uh, next year, 2018, in the same show. So that is the brief story of the Galleon cake. And let's look at now what is today's tutorial. You must be wondering why I have the same kind of plan on the table for today's tutorial. So I will have two very good reasons that number one is I've been invited to the same show to conduct a 15 person hand on class. And I choose this cake to do that because of this, uh, people like it and it was very popular. And it's, it's a just a decision that is actually quite challenging to do that, but I'm still working on it to achieve that. So the original Galleon cake had been produced in three weeks time, including planning and everything. And then I have in that hand on class, four hours time to do it. So that is, makes it quite challenging for me. And it is a complete rethinking is involved. And I have to change even that Everything is about uh, the same kind of thing, but the approach and the method has to be altered and changed to that time strength. All right. So that therefore, uh, there is a lot of uh, things that you should also know about it. Uh, therefore, this is the tutorial today. How can you do something which is done three weeks time into reduced to four, four, four hours to teach people? So that is really something. Uh, which I think is worth it for you to see. And the second reason is, even that this cake liked and commented by you, but I didn't really receive too many pictures of your version. Uh, I believe that was a bit of complications involved and that maybe there was not enough courage from your side to do it. So uh, that's why I believe smaller and simpler version will give you more enthusiasm to follow that tutorial. So these are the two reasons why is this tutorial today. Now let's look at this plane to understand the steps of what is going on today. This cake will have only four sales instead of 12. And I already prepared my templates, which I will share with you. So that's the small one. That's the large one here. And that's the, the back. And then that's the front. So it will be quite similar things what we're going to do, but I will introduce you a different method. All right. So uh, the masses is not a long thread rod. Uh, these are the masses that I will use. Six millimeter dowels, which is one side is sharpened just like a pencil sharpener, this one here. And then the other side is normal flat. And I will also use two, two and a half millimeter normal kebab skewers will help me to get the uh, horizontal lines. So those masses also doesn't go inside the board with the nuts and bolts and everything. It goes directly into the cake, which is, will be easier with styrofoam, of course. But uh, when we're doing the real cake, I will explain you during the assembling part. So uh, the cake is basically, if you don't count all these little, little, little pieces, you can make it out of cake paste or out of just the fondant. 
don't worry about this one because this is a just one piece in cut in two so you can just do it however you like but mainly is three part main body is very simple it is of course that necessary you have the top template and the side template so what you do you just make a 75 millimeter high kick rectangular kick and then place this on top and cut first and after that uh, you carve a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here, a little bit there. It doesn't have to be really good carving because once you put your ganache, you put your cling wrap on it and pushing nicely to get this symmetrical look. And after that, you do everything else, but you have to do it just like a cross coat. And then after that, ganache coat, fondant, everything. So this is not really important because it's very, very symmetrical, very, very geometrical. Every time I do something like this, carving cake part, I try to make it as simple as possible. And of course, the simplest means that geometrical shapes. And I have the back room is the normal, just rectangular, and the front room, a kind of a part of a triangular. Uh, it's very, very easy. This is about five centimeter high. This is about three centimeter high. I also make my drawings that I will share with you. You will understand exactly what to do. So the carving cake for me is the understanding the parts, producing simpler parts separately and join them together instead of doing all thing in one. Of course, you have seen that a couple of times before. So let's put this one on the side here. And the masses, go back to masses, that I have this diagram here. I can show you exactly where to join. So this, this is one, this is the first one, one, two, and three. And then this is the second one which is at the behind, and this is the front one. There is some masses here, the horizontal mass, you don't see it, because I'm gonna join them to the, to the sails, instead of here, and try to put the sails on that. It will be much more easier. You will see that, understand that later on, all right? So uh, don't confuse with that, this is overlapping, but this shows here uh, one, two, and three separate. All right, and then all the details are pretty much the same approach but much more simpler and less in numbers and also I reduce a lot of complexity in there to make it much more simpler and then the cake will sitting on the board and uh, also we will do a very simple wave uh, ocean waves and it's around the cake so let's bring now all the tools and material 